10 anglers, five competition days, two groups. Yes. And one trophy. Come on. The YPC Bank UK 2023 is proudly brought to you by Predator Tackle and LMAB. Every great story starts with a cast. Hello fellow YPC supporters and welcome to the fifth episode of YPC Bank UK. It's decision day and the five anglers of Group A have only eight hours left to claim one of the two qualification spots for the final. These are the current standings after day one. After a slow morning, Kevin picked up the pace and caught four pike in a short period of time. The group favourite only needs one more perch for a full card and is expected today to focus on collecting bonus points and, of course, big perch. Ryan has already outsmarted one of those huge perch. After a fabulous start with three pike, one of them on top water, almost nothing happened for him for the rest of the day until just before the end, when a hard-to-beat 44 perch finally took his law and moved him up into second place. As a result, Daniel was ousted from the qualifying spots. However, this will hardly unsettle the man in third, who is probably the only shore angler in the world who carries a trolley with him at all times. In addition to four pike, the Rapala man has already scored 30 top water points and much like Kevin, can concentrate fully on catching a couple of good perch. What sounds doable at first glance, however, took A.D. Mason the whole first day. The catch with care veteran is more of a pike expert and some might say it showed. Still, he managed to get two sizeable perch on board, plus an average pike. Today, however, he presumably focuses on his favourite fish from the very beginning. We are all very curious to see what the result will be. We're also all very much looking forward to seeing Dan Bucknell again. Highly experienced, but not so much in tournament fishing, the local fisherman showed impressively that he knows how to find fish in his home waters. However, Due to acute nervousness, he seldom showed that he's also very proficient at knowing how to set the hook properly. In the end, at least one pike stuck to a top water law and that prevented an almost disastrous day for him. Nevertheless, Dan needs to get a grip on his nerves today if he wants to challenge for a spot in the final. So that's a quick summary of what's happened so far. Time to turn to the here and now. As on the first day, our anglers are again out and about at ungodly hours. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two. We've just arrived at a, <laughs> a river I've never seen before. I've taken a bit of a gamble here, but hopefully it will pay off today. We are after the perch. Haven't seen the river yet. Uh, Google Maps at one o'clock last night after a few talks to people, and that's what we're gonna go for. So come join me. Let's see if we can find some fish. Tight lines, everyone else. Right everybody, this is uh, my second day of fishing. We know what we've got to do, we've got to catch some pike today. Um, that's my speciality. We need to catch maybe some surface caught fish as well, so we're going we're gonna to edge as bets. We're going to potentially go for chub off the surface, pike off the surface, and maybe a couple of decent pike on jerk baits, and we'll try and upgrade. If the worst comes to the worst and we catch those fish, then we'll move on to perch and upgrade those. They weren't fantastic the other day. We're on a stunning bit of water. We're back on River Seven, a place called Ironbridge. We had a little bit of water in last night. It's, it's got throth on it and stuff. It looks perfect for fishing. So we're going to give it a go. Let's see how we can get on. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, welcome to day two of Group A. Hopefully we'll find some perch for you. Uh, obviously I failed miserably on the first day. I've come to a still water just to see if we can find it possibility of upgrading some of the pike as well. Uh, worst case scenario was we jump on the river. However, we've had quite a bit of rain, so it's a quite a high risk situation. Fingers crossed, and I'll have some really good action for you guys. Uh, support is more than welcome, and yeah, all the best to everyone else. Good morning, guys. It's day two, YPC UK. Um, a lot of the lads should be starting to fish about now. It's eight o'clock. It's time for us to start, uh, however we've taken a big gamble today, we're still driving and we've still got another 35 minutes to go yet so we're going to lose half an hour's fishing time, uh, but hopefully it gets our perch early and we can go from there, but we'll see, fingers crossed, I'll see you in a minute. This is it, first cast of day two, start off with a top water, this is the Ilex water moccasin, got a lovely weir pool in front, 
be nice if it went as easy as it did yesterday, first cast one fish. Let's see how it goes. First cast, day two, fingers crossed. Typical. <laughs> Is that a good sign or a bad sign? I thought we'd have had a, 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 at least a follow or a hit by now. So the top water might be coming off. It's working lovely through this foam, but just there is nothing following. Right, let's do it, let's swap. Let's swap to the bigger lure. Going for the Wolf Creek Shad 2.0 here. 18 centimeter fire tiger. This should wake anything up in here. It's gonna be a really warm day, that is for sure. Weather is out and already baking. This is really a early morning and evening spot. A really tough coming a little bit later on in the morning. Let's hope we can trick something. Try and go in darker water and bring up this margin. We could fish it from next peg anyway, but it just looks so right. I think it might just be too weedy out there. We'll try these margins a bit more and just the reeds a bit closer. It's obviously a much shallower area here on Google Maps. I just saw weir pool size, just expecting it to be deeper and a bit clearer. So we'll concentrate a bit more on the margin, see if we can pick something up along here. That's just waiting for bait fish that's coming down from the storm last night. Oh no! That was a tap then, had a tap. missing that one. Behave. 82 I think because it's 81 over 81 and a half can you see? Yeah 81 and a half can see tail. 82 pike on the jerk bait guppy in pike pattern you just can't beat it. I'm so confident I'm using that lure every single swim. Sometimes you just got confidence in a lure and it's action and it's availability where it's going to work in water column and I think that's a good start. 82 guys. Thank you, sir. Perch took him half a day, Pike barely half an hour, and such a decent one too. Actually, the group's largest so far. Not quite enough to climb in the table, but if this should be an indicator of what our Pike Whisperer can do, then there'll certainly be some changes soon enough. Hello. <laughs> Wants to come back? See you later. First fish of the day. Now we catch another one. Fire tiger, loads of rattles. We're gonna fish it weightless to start with, so I can fish it a lot slower. Um, the, the shad here, that has got, that's seven gram on that and that was too much. So we're gonna fish a mirror's mouse weightless. You've got a nice load of bucktail here that pulses as you pause it, and that should keep it a bit higher in the water. And a big abu Garcia beast rattle on the back of it. Hopefully this works. Just to talk you through the gear that I'm using for this, because I'm using the heavier lures as such, I've got some 25 centimetre and 30 centimetre shads in there today. I've stepped up the tackle, so I've got real wise Abu Garcia Revo Toro Beast. It's a winch of a reel, it, it will cast and handle most things up to maybe 210, 220 grams here. And the rod is the uh, CWC Lizard X Pierre Monterey edition, which is so far my favourite stick out of all my pike gear. It just, it casts whatever you put on it. Like I said, it's rated to 200 grams, but I put more than 200 grams on this and it just sails out, no issues at all. For any of you guys who like fishing your big, your big guppies, 120 gram versions, this rod literally gets about 80 yards on it. But I think we might 
come off of these big lures in a sec. I was just saying to James, we're probably going to go for a, a Z-Man pop shad. There's a load of lily pads uh, at the back of the slack there that I can present that lure really nicely over the top. So Ryan returns to the lure he was successful with on the very first cast on day one. Kevin, meanwhile, has finally parked the car. Oh, right, let's go. We finally made it half an hour late, but we knew that was going to be the case. Um, just come to a quick perch spot, really, see if we can fill the perch card. It's a bit of a gamble, but he who dares wins. He who dares wins. Not always. Oh, sugar. Just a just in tail there. The tail's actually turned off at one side and that impact with that fish. So I've just turned it back up so it's pointing upwards. It's quite important. It does make a big difference to action. So it's worth just checking after you've had a fish. Not 10 minutes after you've been casting. So we're just going to start a bit like yesterday, small soft plastics and then hopefully catch a perch and then go a bit bigger, try and catch a bigger one. First cast of day two. Wish us luck. Very small perch. That's not the size we're after. <laughs> oh, it might just creep as our full card there. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. My little favourite. 325. Beautiful little fish. And it gets us our full, full card. Still need to go bigger, but already makes the drive worth the while. So we started half an hour late, but we filled the card. Definitely a good trade. And with a full card in his pocket, the motto is now upsizing. Good. I'm pleased. That's good. Now we can start going bigger. Today we're unable to see what the other competitors have scored. It's a bit of one of them, you never know what's going on, but at least we filled the card, so we're happy. Let's see if we can get it down the side of that bit of wood and behind the boat, just like that. Just what we needed. Pop that down there, come on. If I was a pike, I'd be very close to this area. Ooh, ice cream. I personally think I think we need one more half decent pike. Another 80 plus would be fantastic. It'll put me well up the scoreboard and then we can go all out for surface lures. And I think we're on a really chubby looking spot. And what we're doing is we're, every time we come to a swim, we're trying for chub first so we don't miff them off by using a big jerk bait through it. We're going to cast around on every single peg now. It's quite shallow water, it's quite fast, so it's perfect for chub. Um, for pike, I could really do with maybe a couple more slacks, more pools, because I think the pike could probably just sit on the edge of those, probably go in and out and feed, depending on uh, light conditions. So I think we need to find those to find the bigger pike, but it's always worth having a go. I've caught them in rapids and stuff before, so it, you know, I'm not discounting it. That's why I'm going to work this full swim. Let's try and get another big, another decent pike. And what we're doing on the chub, we're edging as bets. We're going for a slightly bigger lower. We're using the water strike. So it's literally chub size, perch size and pike size. So it'll take all, obviously a wire trace on as well. So that's what we're doing. We're edging as bets with the surface lower. We're going to go big or go home. I'm one top water pike uh, or one top water fish from getting my my three on top water. I was hoping I would get a bite here, unfortunately it didn't happen. So I've switched down to a lure just to see if I can encourage a better pike because obviously my pike are quite small. I've just moved off the perch spot not to hit it too hard. Um, I'll most probably look to hit it a little bit later, just depending on what the conditions are like. Um, I mean, it, it's quite bright already, so it's quite tough. But we keep persevering and hopefully, yeah, we have something for the cameras. So we have one more cast here, um, then we're going up six. I'm going to work our way downstream a bit. I'm going to get the crankbait rod out and just again, try something different. We've had nothing on top water, nothing following the big lures. We'll uh, probably start with like a Rapala DT, we'll start with a 10. See that if that's diving too, too deep, we'll go for a six. Um, I can't see the bottom here, so I don't think the four is going to be be the one. But we'll get we'll get that on. So let's get out of here and try somewhere else. Now 
Another little perch. I don't think it's an improvement, but we will just double check. Nope, it's only 21. Covered in weed. We're getting back. We're going to go for a bit more of a natural bait fish colour here. Uh, this is going to be a DT4, we'll try the 4 now. Um, worst case I can fish it mid-depth if it is slightly deeper than 4 foot. And just fish it a bit slower, don't have to go as fast. Just because these cabbages around here, I think that's that might be the issue. They, they are a bit lower. That DT10, two cranks on the hand is on the deck already, so that's far too deep. We'll try the 4. If not on the 4, we're going to move downstream anyway and keep at it. With it being, oh, mind the dogs. <laughs> just do all your boxes up when there's dogs around. Last thing you want is one then to grab a lure thinking it's a toy and you've got some size four treble hooks sitting in it. Oh, I can't get past these small ones again. I think we'll give it another couple of minutes and then we'll nip up on the railings and put a cast, couple of casts right under there and then we'll um, move on to our next spot and pop back here later in the day. I just keep trying to see if we can get one of these 40 pluses. I like the look of that. And this pool. Oh, that the pool. That's not a peg, is it? Sugar. Is that not a peg here? I might just be able to reach it. I'm not going to lie to you, boys. That looks right to me. So we've just come to this really nice looking bridge. Hopefully we've got some perch under here. It's a bit more shaded, slower pacing. I'm going to start with this DT4. Oh, there's a perch following it. There's a perch, come on. That's a nice perch, it's a pound plus of that one. That's, that's our first follow, that's a nice, probably a pound and a half fish, upper 30s, it's exactly what we're after. That's a really promising sign. I'm gonna work it a little bit slower. Um, I only cast halfway this time, so I'm gonna do the same cast again and bring it back. Um, he just meandered off, he didn't spook too badly, so hopefully he might hit it as it comes back down this margin. Come on! It's all about a jiggy bets. That's a nice fish for a top water. Oh my god! We'll just be, we just had a conversation with my pal behind me, and we're like, this, "Are we going too big? We're going too small? We've got our edges bets. We've got to find a lure that's big enough to land pike, potential of catching perch, but not too big that you can't take a jump on it." And uh, we just worked the swim here and exactly where we thought. Brought up this margin here. Now, as I walked over this peg, I looked over my shoulder to my right hand side and I saw a slack and I just thought, there's got to be pike there, but it's not a peg. I can actually go back and fish it with jerk baits, but from here. But obviously we're just bringing this fish through. And I think that's 80 plus again. I don't think that's far off 80 plus. It's just splashed me in the face, but let's get it out, get it unhooked and uh, we'll see. See that single point there? That was the only thing looking at. Can you see that little, that little bit of flesh there? That's the only thing that's attaching my lower. That little tiny bit of skin. Just there. I think that's 85 and a half. 85 and a half, so 86. So it's 86. Top water. 86 centimetres. Water strike. 10 pound BFT. Titanium leader. 12 pound braid. 8 to 20 rod. Just made for this job. There's also a chance of chub here, so we're going to keep on going and uh, we'll put a jerk bait through this as well because you never know, there might be a big pike here. Fantastic. Mwah. Thank you very much. I can't tell you how happy I am to catch you, lovely. We like the pikes. Not the biggest pike I've ever caught, but probably one of the most important ones. It certainly could be, especially with the additional top water points. Already in second place now, AD maintains his astonishing pace. Yet he always finds time to pass on a few kind words. 
Thank you very much, young lady. Won't mind seeing you in a couple of time. Go and eat some chub. Come on, pike knuckles. Fantastic. It's quite important that you keep yourself clean. So these like a, a towel, we use, actually use them for cleaning fish finders, but they're fantastic if you've got cuts and stuff in your hand, it's worth just keeping them done. I've also got a little, a little tube of antiseptic in me, in me bag, so you've got to look after yourself. Look enough, it's my knuckles, not the pikes. We go. One of the few injuries that one gladly accepts at any time. Dan, who is finally ready for fishing, probably wouldn't mind some pike knuckles either. Morning guys, welcome to day two for me on YPC UK, day one. Absolute right off, one fish on the card. We missed a ton of fish, we've got a little bit of a different game plan today. We're on a canal again, different canal. Similar conditions, it's quite warm, it's a little breeze, very sunny, so not the best for fishing. But we're going to try to make the most of it. We changed tactics today. Go with the chatterbait, this is the multi-vibe. Um, one art size, so I can catch you the pike or perch, but this morning we're going to be targeting mainly pike. I've had good pike fishing in this spot, hopefully there today. And yeah, follow me along, see how it goes. Good luck to the other guys, hopefully I catch more than them, but yeah, we'll see. But first cast of the day, first cast of day two. Hopefully, 10 minutes time, we'll have a 90 plus pike on the bank and yeah, we can relax a little bit. fish little pike little pike right the net is just behind me there let's just hope he doesn't well, that's not the intended species don't come off don't come off don't come off that is at least an upgrade for the 53 <laughs> that is amazing wow amazing amazing Hopefully this is an upgrade. It looks like it's going to be an upgrade. So it's just under 59 centimetres there. So we've got a 59 centimetre pike here. Here it is, 59 centimetre pike. Full card now on the pike. One more perch and it's upgrade time. Let's get her back. Second place reclaimed immediately. This time Ryan needed a few more casts than on day one, but still he's timing things well again today. And away she goes. 0924 so I've been here an hour and 20 minutes ish from the first cast I'll take that hours fishing one fish if we can do that consistently over the course of the day that's eight more fish with potentially seven upgrades now so fingers crossed guys we can keep on this roll see you in a second so guys this first spot there's a lot of weed it's like a shallow bay in the edge of the canal the canal's quite wide but then it widens up a little bit and it's like a shallow plateau like four foot deep and the pike, this time of year, they sit right in the weed. So that's why I've gone for a char bait. We can rip this quite quick through the weed, to try to get a reaction from the pike. Not many other baits we can fish apart from top water, but we struggled with that yesterday. So ripping this through weeds to start with, see if we can get a reaction. If not, we'll change things up, but I'm quite confident we'll get a fish quickly. We're trying to get as close to the weeds as possible. So I'm expecting the pike to be sat in the weed. Hit the weed with the bait, we just rip it through, pull the weed off and uh, yeah, keep working it. Keep covering water, catch a lot of fish. We'll see though. To avoid damages on your drunk baits, keep them strictly away from water. Really starting to panic because I'm like, why have I not caught a pike? Problem is, is I'm looking at this water and it's a lot colored than I thought it was. It looked clear, but I feel like it's colored. I'm really scared to get on the river because if the, if I get on the river and it's flooded, then I might be in a world of pain. First time Daniel strikes a somewhat bitter note. AD, meanwhile, just seems to catch everything today. 
Yeah. They're too close. You're on the oh shit, shit, shit. What? Oh, no, no, no. My Ooh. goodness, that could have been expensive. So AD even catches drones now. How can the others keep up with that? That a small batch. Oh, it's well. Just missed one. Got it. Yep, got him. Loose drag when I've got it hooked. That was quick. Please don't come off. I don't think it's too bad. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do not come off. He's got his head in the weed. That was a cool strike. We watched him follow then. It's a nice fish. It's 80 plus, probably. No! Yeah. Too small again, I think. What? No, another one. Let's chuck it again. Let's chuck it. No! <sighs> See, I told you guys, another fish will come. <laughs> So another one that's uh, 23 centimetres, but we've got a 24 on from day one and a 25 this morning, so no good to us again, unfortunately. So it's really important to make sure you can get down to the water if you're fishing off any of these railings. So this is the um, Fox Raid street net. Um, extends to 2.4 or 2.8 metres, not sure on this one, but um, just about gets me down there. There is longer ones, up to five metres if you need them, but yeah, make sure you're fully equipped with the right kit. Okay, let's go and um, have a little quick drive up the road, go to spot two, see if we can get another perch or upgrade the pipe. Kevin seems to have everything planned out. The slightly desperate Daniel, on the other hand, resorts to technology to make his mind up about the next destination. So I am just going to go on to um, Google and I'm uh, going to just check the river levels because uh, that's my secondary spot. This area... I'm not getting great vibes. We'll still persevere for a little while, but I want to know if the secondary spot is going to be available to fish or not. Um, if it's not, then I'm going to try and fish a little harder in this general area and see what happens. Huge amount of small bait fish, so there could be some big perch in this area. <sighs> Focus. I've just noticed to my right, there's a couple of bait fish just dimpling on the surface. Could be like there's a fly hatch going on and it's, it's caused a smaller fish to to come up in the water so we'll keep an eye on that because if we see that just suddenly scatter it could mean that there's a perch and a pike are there chasing them look at that shit bolts fell out of it in the net. Yes! Get in! That second pike on the top water. That f <laughs> Honestly, we made a plan. We made this plan to just come and try this area. I just knew there'd be pikes on that slack. If you can look, we might get drone footage, I don't know, because I actually hit the drone. Um, but if you look, there's off the back of that island there. It's not an island, it's just a lump of rocks. But where it is, it leaves a lovely, 
slack all the way down here. So you just know that predators are sat either side of it just moving in and out because what happens, all your bait fish will be moving back and forward into there. They'll go out into the flow, feed, and then go back into there. And pike will be sat, predators will be sat either side, just sat there on margins. So we knew it were there, it was a long take, probably about 50, 60 yards. So let's get it in, see how big it is. So it's one on surface, so it's worth points. I don't think I've ever caught a more important fish than that. 79 and a half. There you go, it's touching the thing. Just touching that line. 80, 80 off the surface. Not the biggest fish I've ever caught, but a nice one on the surface. Again, on water strike. It's just been lethal. We made a plan to go a little bit bigger on surface. Chance of a pike, chance of a perch, chance of a chub. Just unfortunately, we haven't had any chub yet, but there's always a chance. But now I think we have to go for perch. We would like to see him fish for pike and drones a little longer, but improving his perch score is the most likely better decision for AD. What a performance so far, which has now earned him not only a full card, but also the lead. And say what you will, but when you see how he handles them, you can't help thinking to yourself that he really does have a deep connection with his beloved pike, can you? Another nice river pike. God, I love river pike. You can keep your canals, you can keep your drains, I'm a river fisherman, and these are my sort of fish. This is my style of fishing. Some would say I'm a river piker. Go on, son. Off your way. Go on. Is she going away? There she goes. Time for perch, I think. Boom. We take them all. Boom. The water strike is a lure I've gone for for surface fishing. I'll take the reason why. It's mega buoyant. That's one of the most important things on this competition. It's okay having a surface lure, but it's got to be able to stay on the surface. Literally, it stays on the surface. And what it does, it's a walk the dog style. So literally just goes boom, boom, boom. And it's slow, nice and steady. Working it through its slacks and just off of fast water. Water strike available. It's a Strike Pro CWC special. It's an absolute fantastic lure. Plenty of rattle in it as well, so it's got everything going for it. Comes in a variety of colours, but um, this has been the one that's done all the damage today. I've had two takes on it, two nice fish on it on the surface. It's, uh, it's a lovely lure. Well then, spot number two already. Um, these are just little spots, so we're just going to hop in and out of them and just sort of rotate them for the day, I think. Um, unless we get a good upgrade and then we'd have to make a new plan. So we've just made our way down to a bit of an urban canal here. Um, it's, it's not very big, it's just more of a, just a recess off the river. So we, we sort of just see how it goes. There's swans here, there's not a lot of life, but you never know. We'll give it a go. If not, there's another bridge. And we know what we like about bridges. There's always fish. Just quickly changing chat baits. This is a 10 gram. I'm trying to fish quite fast and this is riding a little higher than I want it to. So we're gonna stick a 14 on and hope that, yeah, this, they, they like this one as well. I'll just show you, I've not took the blade off because these multi-vibe chatter baits got interchangeable blades, so you can just take them off on a fast hatch. This one has a black blade, sunny conditions, so I wanna keep using the gold one. So clip that off on the fast hatch, switch, twist it back on there, gold. Now I've got nice flashy gold blade, perfect for sunny conditions. If it was a bit more overcast, I'd stick with the black, but yeah, the gold should get them going today. Just gonna complement this with a nine centimeter Kofi Bleak as a trailer, champagne color. It's not a bad matchup that, probably could do with a better color, but it'll work nice like that. So let's see if they like this one as well. You get pike all along this bit where the grass is though. So just focus on the grass. Don't worry about fishing open water at all. So it take way too long to fish all this canal effectively. So we just go where the weed is. You know there'll be pike there. And uh, we've proved that with two, two already that we missed. Yep. No. Three missed now. This is this is not going good. Again. Here we go. This is a pike right here. Great fish. Yeah. He missed the bait that one. That wasn't me, he missed the bait. That's four strikes though. Four different fish. 
He might come back. Saw the bait scatter then. Straight into weed. Saw the bait scatter before that strike then. I knew it was going to come and... Yeah, when you see him take like that, you often just strike out of instinct and miss. See if that one will come back. Smaller fish that though, maybe a 65. Yep, there we go. Number five hooked. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. See, those might, might be a perch. It's a small, small pike or a perch. Perch, big perch. Big, big perch. Big. Oh. My net. Wow. Jesus. My net broke. My, <laughs> my net broke and folded up on me. Look at that. How that has taken that chatterbait. I thought it was a tiny pike. Might go far to that. Thin perch. Chatterbait inhaled. Oh, it's got some length to it though. Good competition fish that. First fish of the day for me. Completely swallowed the chatterbait. Easy unhook in there. The net malfunctioned. We've lost some bolts out of this while I've been walking and it just folded, <laughs> folded up on me. Right when I didn't want it to. I put that guy in the net for a second while I set my uh, cameras up. Uh, cameras, unhooking mats. And we'll get a length. First fish. 39. 0.5, so 40 centimeters. Cameraman confirm. Just, just gets to 40. Great perch on the, on the chat bait. So happy. We missed four pike. We landed a fish, and yeah, we'll get this back. Need to get fishing again and get another one. But first fish, day two. My lord, would it have been awkward if Dan had lost the fish too? After a whole series of mishaps that were quite hard to watch at times, it really doesn't matter if this perch is the beginning of a crazy comeback or not. Most importantly, Dan finally has something to rebuild his confidence on, which seems to be working faster than you might expect. Confidence is up now. The pressure is off slightly. If Aid is not caught any fish, I think that bumps us above him in points. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's get some fish caught. Right then, I think we'll do the same as before. We'll get up on the railings this time. My net isn't quite long enough now, so if I hook a fish, I'll have to come back round and land it down here. So I'll leave the um, net ready in anticipation. We'll start on a little pro shad and then um, probably go to my old faithful spiky shad and see if we can't get one. Nice, bright. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should put a feather in my hat and become a chieftain. Maybe, maybe that will help. Do you, th do you think that will work? No? What, what, what do you think the viewers will think? Do you think I've gone crazy? Somebody please help him. Dan's gone crazy. Who the hell wants me? It's hard now with the sky to see where the weeds are, when it's not too ripply, you can see exactly where the grass edges are. So I want to try and concentrate a little more just so we're not running into too much weed. No follows yet. No signs of fish, but we'll, we'll persist here for probably 10, 15 minutes just to see it's, it's off the river. It's not, there's no flow. Come on, for the river predator in that pool. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. If they're here, I'll work it as slow as possible. Come on. If this don't get taken, then that's it, mate. We move. It's actually so much nicer being able to fish and not worry about the other guys' results because day two, we don't get to find out what the other guys have caught till we get back to base camp. So yeah, we can just relax a little bit more today. Focus on the fishing rather than trying, trying not to panic, worrying about what the other guys are doing. And hopefully that'll help me a little bit. We get very stressed on day one. Plan is not to do that again today. I feel like it's a big learning experience with it being my first tournament style fishing day. So try and be a little bit more calm. I did get stressed when I lost four fish in a row, but we're, we're, we're being zen today.
big one just followed that then. Missed it. It's in a little spot, there's like a, a, a thick patch of weed right where that fish is sat and there's like no way I can fish around it. So I think we're gonna try it from a different angle. Problem with these fish, they do get caught a few times a year. So once they're a little suspicious, they just won't come back. So if they see a chat bait go past and past and past, unless they're really in the mood for it, you don't get a second chance, unfortunately. Righty, this could be the perch upgrade we need. Just as the rain started. Perfect. 31 and a half, 32? 32 confirmed. Perfect. Oh, we needed that one. That's some good, good valuable points that is. So still not as big as we want, but better than what we've had. So really can't complain. Quite a manoeuvre. A decent upgrade for Kev, who wouldn't have to worry about his pike score anymore if he could get one more just like that. For the time being, however, Ryan remains close on his heels even if he's currently experiencing a bit of a dry spell. So far there's no fish. <laughs> so far it's very lifeless, but it's very shallow. So I'm hoping this bit here is a little bit deeper. There's a lot of detritus and sediment. It's just, this is picking up. So I think I'm probably gonna swap in a couple of casts to like a Mollux RT flip, which is a weedless paddle tail. Uh, it's got a, like a hidden weight inside the head means I can work it along this the, the bottom, no issues at all, no worries if it's snagging up. I feel it's in the sediment, I can just pop it out and hopefully a nice big perch will come and snaffle it. Cheers sir. Lovely jubbly. I've been fishing the little spiky sad, but just somewhat a little bit different. Give it a couple of casts, then we'll um, change colour and get back on the spiky I think. Unbelievable, never seen that before. So I prism get, oh, yes, 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 fish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, little pike. Yes. We'd literally just finished having a bloody ice cream. I flicked it in and I didn't even turn the handle. I turned round, the rod tip moved maybe two, three inches and it just got absolutely slammed. James is just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. we've got another pike in the net. Hopefully it's an upgrade on that 53. We've done it, it's 55. So we've got the upgrade. It's an extra two centimetres for me. It's not masses, but in competitions like this, every centimetre counts. So hopefully, this little chap will get me through to the final. One more perch and we have a full card. Let's get it back. Somehow, Ryan's got his pike sizes mixed up. Luckily for him, the organiser keeps track of everything. Daniel was just text me saying, that one wouldn't count, your smallest pike is 57. I was like, all oh, right, I thought it was 53. I think we'll have five more minutes perch fishing, and then we'll pull a pike rod all through here again. 
and then I think we need to make a call to probably go and try and upgrade the pipe it might be easier than the perch now quarter to 11 so yeah well um yeah not give it too long then go pike fishing not an easy call for kev but given all the small perch he's caught it might be the right one we are quickly approaching midday and some anglers may already be feeling some time pressure yeah it's nice oh might have had a bite then yep fish perch i think i think this is another big perch bumped it and we are big perch big perch follow it yes i've got two in the net <laughs> one followed it into the net did they both count <laughs> Oh my god! Nailed that chatterbait. And Buddy Boy, which is a little smaller. Well, yeah, it's like a 39er, it's like a 36. Peas in pods, really, these two fish, but I've never had that happen in my life. That was a crazy experience. All right, guys, we're just going to measure this fish now. Unfortunately, the one that followed the internet doesn't count. 30, nose to the measure, 38 centimeters. So, nice perch. We'll just measure this before, and I think this is around 36. Yeah, 36. So, two nice fish. <laughs> the bigger one on the hook, which is always nice, but never had that happen in my life. We're going to get these back quick. We're going to get some more caught. Both perch that we needed landed. So, yeah, I'm very happy. It's just absurd. First, Dan needs about 15 attempts for one fish. Now, one for two fish. If he keeps this up, he could get his hook rate ratio up to a decent level. But jokes aside, his perch score is pretty good. A couple of average pike and our local would be in the race again, even if it didn't look like it for a long time. The goal for this morning was to get the pike points. And we got the perch points. Two nice perch, both on the multi-vibe. Kofi Bleak trailer. I'm so happy. I felt that one. That one went nip on the back just felt the bump and then came and slammed it and then his mate followed him into the net like i've never seen anything like that in my life so if there's two there should be three or four there so we're going to keep casting maybe get a better one but the morning is, is made i'm soaked now focus on pike i'm not going to bet well i might get better perch but it's more easy to get better pike so pike for the rest of the day i think now and grind 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 to get some fish Whew, let's get casting though Elsewhere, Kevin pauses briefly on the pike project he's just started. I doubt they will, but I think I'm just going to grab the top water rod. There's a few really big chub just a foot, 18 inches under the surface. So I might just have a cut of quick cast. Couldn't do, can't do any arm. Perfect place. I've got so many big pike off spots like this, just under bridges. Went light and dark water meat. That deserves a fish. Yes, little one. That will still be acrobatic. I don't think he's a 22. Oh. Don't know what that was. Righty, I think we'll get on the move. Maybe we go over there quickly, just because all them bait fish there might have then brought the predators in. So what's just happened, a lady just come out and fed all the ducks and the swans. Um, and we just noticed loads of bait fish feeding amongst them on the pellet or the bread. Uh, so I think this will be the last cast here. We're going to quickly run the 30 yards over there. Just, just fish between them and just see if there's, there's any perch there that are, are picking off all these roach and other fry that are taking advantage of all these free offerings that the, the residents are chucking in, obviously. It's all about making the most out of opportunities that come your way. Or, as in Aidy's case, looking for them elsewhere. It's time to move. It's been a hard thing to do, leaving pike feeding and taking them off surface and taking them on jerk baits. The pike angler in me wants to go and keep on doing that. But the reality is I need to upgrade my perch. I've got a 22 and a 28. I need more than that. So the plan is to try and catch a couple more perch, um, maybe a couple of 30 pluses and 
we'll see how we go. I don't think we're going to get one off surface, if I'm brutally honest. I don't think the water we're fishing is shallow enough to do it. So we're going to go on bottom. I think we'll probably go drop shot, which I don't want to do because I hate it. But it's a viable method and it does catch fish. And we'll see how fish react. If they're there and they're on it, we'll catch them pretty quickly. And then uh, me and Seb, the cameraman, will have a siesta and a couple of beers this afternoon and call it quits. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Fine, big fish. Nope. That's a perch. That's what we need. That's over 22. Oh, see that other one following it there, James? That is what we needed. We now have a full card. <laughs> Finally, a perch that's actually <laughs> qualified. There's a the minimum. We've got a 22 and we have a lovely 28 when he's going to just calm down 28 just over 28 not quite not quite the half so we can't get 29 on that one so there it is this is the the full card now 28 centimeter perch not a monster but i've never been happier to catch one it means i've got the full card so i've got two perch four pike so now any fish is an upgrade as long as it's over the minimum size so perch is my smallest is now this at 28 and pike is 57 so any pike over 57 or perch over 28 is more points on the door let's put this one back let's try and catch another one i don't know if you would have picked that up but two other perch very similar sizes followed us in so every centimeter is going to count let's get this back and try and get a 30 plus a 35 40 who knows we could be lucky and get a 50. let's go of course it's going to swim into the net aren't you <laughs> there we go here comes the rain again let's go hey guys so the plan didn't pay off uh unfortunately so we're gonna head off to a new venue try and get on the river hopefully there's not too much water on it um and just catch up with us on the next episode take it easy and with that we end this episode ryan is the third to fill the card and lies promisingly in second place but all in all, the morning belonged to AD, of course. Who, should he improve his perch score just a tiny bit, already has one foot in the final. In third place is Kevin, who's caught a number of fish but didn't improve his score too much. He needs at least one really strong perch or pike here to preserve his chances. Daniel has had a really miserable day so far and desperately needs two perch. Dan, on the other hand, for whom it looked bad for a long time, has already ticked them off and battled his way back. Now he just needs to convert some of his pike bites into points. Then everything is still possible. To see if he succeeds and who from this group finally make it to the grand final, tune in next Sunday at 7pm. Until then, grab yourself some nice catches, leave us a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel. Ciao!